All right, my friends. I'm going to try and fire up this rebuilt home light saw. It's got so much dust on it, I'm not going to worry about that right now. But I did put about 100 milliliters of chain oil in there. And look at that, we got chain oil on there. How about that? So that's a good thing. And I'm just going to rotate this. God, I could almost do this on a piece of cardboard, shouldn't I? This is gonna work or not? I think so. It's much better. Now we're gonna put a little fuel in the top. And just to remind you, this is a 100 cc chainsaw. It calls for 24 to 1 mix. But I'm using modern two-stroke fuel. I'm still pretty rich at 34 to 1. Now there's no the carburetor. Okay, there's absolutely no fuel in the system here, except in the tank. But I verified that everything does. It does what everything is supposed to do. About a year ago, I haven't touched this for about a year. Got no primer on it. There we go. That makes more sense. And uh, I'm going to. Boy, you know what? I think I might just prime it a little bit. It, it, it's, it's a hundred cc saw with no compression release. And I don't have a filter in there yet. Huh. I wonder if I can do it. That should do it. We'll leave the cover off. We're going to need a good screwdriver to adjust. This one's idle, which is controlled by the vacuum. Strange, strange. And I believe. Uh, the furthest one away is the H. Let's verify that. Yes. Now we're going to see if we can make a little noise. We got a bar, bar chain oil. We got gas in the tank. Full choke, right? And let's just see what she's got. I'm going to go slow. I put a, a, a snow blower pull on here because it's a full, you got to use everything you can get. I got it turned off. Spark plug's not on. <laughs> and where's the on off key? I believe I have it turned off too. Don't love me. This is serious stuff. There we go. On is up. It should bark now. Oh. 
I'm going to take the plug out. And I'm going to put a little gas down, down its throat. I think it's a three quarter inch. It's probably not the safest thing having this cardboard on here. Plug's not wet. Now I'm just going to turn it off so there's no spark and I'm going to rotate it. Okay, now I'm going to stick a little more fuel back down that throat. That's lots. I'm almost tempted to just go finger tight right now. Turn it on. Choke's on. Earplugs in. It's going to make noise now, guys. Now, where are we on the box? Right there. Right there. Good. Imagine what this is going to look like with a 46 inch bar on there. Okay, let's just give her a little wing of in here. That's fine. <laughs> I'm check the uh, Screws. That's one turn up. The low. One and a half, three quarters. That'll be the magic. A little more gasoline down the throat. I got a hunch this is how I'm going to have to start this every single time. Ah, I missed one more thing. This is an old saw. I'm going to put the, the throttle latch on. I'm not going to use the choke anymore. Here, let's get sensible. Let's get sensible. There, that's better. Cut her off here too. There. Please forgive me. I should have had this all ready to go before you got. That should work. Let's get this one too. All right. Make sure you're still watching. Okay. Gas. Electric. Arm. Contact. Choke. Three quarters. Don't need to worry about pumping oil. We could probably turn the idle up a little bit. Not too worried about the idle. Let's give it a go. Plugged in on the plug. Yes, sir, Bob. Oh, oh, oh. My God. Oh, 
I don't think it's drawing fuel. Man, I might just uh, take off the choke cover. This is a higher priority. That's Steve's or Keith's? It's mine. Okay. It used to be Francis's. Okay. It's noisy. you know the uh, H screw is what was it one and a half turns out let's just get this on record two half one one turn out half one and this one is one and a third or something like that half well, three quarters of a turn. And God knows about the idol. I'm going to try one more go at her. 100 cc's, no decompression release. Alright, so 
So I think the clutch is engaging a little too soon. Okay my friends, I think the idle is at about 2,500 and the uh, maximum is 10,500, which I think is a little high for this old of a machine, especially. Anyway, let's start it up and we'll do one more check on that idle. Oh, the choke is disconnected. There you go. That's that tiny little pin that fell out of there. Eh? Okay. All right, it says, it says on the books under uh, chain interest, tinsel interest or something like that, 9,000 RPMs is the highest as it should go. So is there a, I wonder if there's a throttle limit on here. Nope. Just the high setting. Well, that was just too much fun, guys. And it's spewing out. I hope that's not chain oil. Although I'm getting to be sure of the fact that it is. Oh yes, we need the pin for the choke. I dumped it out on the ground here. Here it is. Look at that little tiny guy there. No, it's not it. I know it's down here. It looks like a little ring anyway. So I will find that. And now I'm going to uh, start working on some of the finer issues. Thank you very much. both bark which means they've probably turned two or three hundred revolutions which is the first two or three hundred revolutions that they've turned in 30 years